As you know, PIM Dance Mode is a push model, and by push model, I mean that multicast flows are sent downstream from the source like flooding. The bold difference between broadcast flood and dense mode flood is that downstream neighbor can tell the receiver I don't want the multicast traffic anymore. We call this message, prune message. We know that PIM dense mode is flood style, so now the critical issue is loop prevention. To address this concern, we use IPRPF. When a router receives a multicast packet, it will check the source IP's address in the unicast routing table and check the next hop and what interface we use to reach the source. When the multicast packet receives on the interface that we use to reach the source, then the RPF check succeeds and we are good to go. But if the packet receives on another interface, it fails the RPF check and the packet is dropped. Now let's go to the lab to configure PIM dance mode. I will also explain some details in the lab. This is our topology. In this lab, I use VLC software to demonstrate the multicast traffic to have a better understanding. First of all, we configure basic connectivity and running OSPF in our underlay. To save time I have done the configuration and the underlay is ready. To configure PIM dense mode, we need to deploy IP multicast routing first, so let's configure it. Now we can check the multicast routing table on each router. The next step is to configure PIM dense mode under interfaces. I will configure it under all interfaces. The first thing is neighborship and adjacency, so as you can see the neighborship is working. After deploying PIM dense mode under all interfaces and the verification that all the PIM neighbor are up, we will check the status of multicast routing table. In the multicast routing table, you can see this entry. This entry is a reserve group for Cisco Auto RP, so don't worry about it now. We will talk about it in the following videos. Now we are starting to send video traffic from our multicast server. I use VLC in this lab, so I will have a movie and stream it on the network as multicast traffic.
Just some recap. We know that we have two tree types in multicast, the first one is the source tree, and the second one is the shared tree. For the source tree, we see it as s g in the multicast routing table. And source refers to the source of the unicast address of multicast flow, but in the shared tree, we see it as star g in the multicast routing table and source is rendezvous point. We will cover it in sparse mode video. Now let's back to our topology and check the multicast routing table. Based on the output and according to that we configured PIM dense mode, we should just consider S, G entry. When you check on S, G, you will notice that the state is not forwarding and it's in prune state. The reason for it is we do not have any multicast receiver yet. Now we will run our multicast receiver. I use VLC for this purpose. As soon as we run the receiver and get the IGMP message from it, we will see the PIM graft message. PIM graft message is a technique to unprune the segment in the event of host signal membership. Based on our topology, R5 will flood multicast traffic to R3, but because of RPF, it will stop forwarding traffic toward this interface, so the loop avoidance will work. And finally, in case of failover, if the link between R2 and R4 is down we expect converge happen and traffic start flooding through R3 toward R5 and finally to multicast client. 